ago, and this is what kind of clued me into this. And she uh, was a physical therapist in hospice care for older people that were dying. And um, she said most of them were filled with regret. And as she'd work with them, they'd talk about their pains and the things they didn't do and they wish they'd done. And then she said, but there was a small group that were very content, had no problems, they were happy. And, they were, and she said and it was always the same reason. The ones who were miserable re regretted everything they didn't do and the ones that were happy went for everything, went for it. Whether they got it or not wasn't as important as they always went for it. And that, that's why they were perfectly happy at the end of their lives. And so I always remembered that, I never forgot that, because it's really pretty simple when it comes down to it, isn't it? You know, and that can, that can start at any age, that can happen at any age. I mean, I, I, I read these stories of like this gra grandma that's in her, I think she was in her 90s and she's traveling the world and she's skydiving and doing all this crazy stuff. Or the guy, Buster, what was Buster? Buster, that guy, got, he was in his 90s, he was in a rock band, and he, he, at 101, he was running marathons. He was hilarious, had a beard down to here, and he was so grounded and solid at 101, just a solid masculine guy, running, to, running full marathons at 101. And he'd have a pint of beer at the breaks of the marathons. He said, I have a cigarette and a pint of beer, then I get back out there. And he, he boxing at 101, and he's like, he's like, I'm not like you people. And they're like, what, is it, what do you mean? And he's like, normal, I'm not like you people, normal. And he still had a job, full-time job, and he died at 104. He, he went to work, after work he went to the pub, he got a pint of beer, had a cigarette, and he, boom, that was it, just shut off. <laughs> Moved on, and uh, still worked till the day he died, and played till the day he died. And, so I look at people like that and I say, that, those are people that got the most out of life. And their bodies just keep going because why? Because they're using their bodies. They have purpose, they have direction, they're having they're living experience. They're not just trying to get to a goal, they're having one experience after another which feeds the body. Trying to get to a goal wears the body out. But you still have to set a goal so you can create experiences around the goal. You set the goal to have experiences, you don't set the goal to get the goal. And then if you get the goal, it's just a bonus.